Welcome to what might be the most important video on building a PC I will ever make. If you're considering building your own computer, by the end of this video, I hope I will have convinced you to do so. In fact, my goal with this video is to convince over 1 million people to build their first PCs. Now, there are many reasons why you should build your own system, but I've chosen to focus on five of the most important. Let's just get right into those reasons. One of the main reasons why people build their own computers is because it gives them complete control over the components in their system. The main alternative to building your own PC is buying a pre-built system. And while there are a lot of pre-built PCs out there that will offer you a range of hardware configurations, it is going to be much more difficult to find a pre-built system that can meet all of your needs. For example, if you wanted an all-white PC, yes, there are some all-white pre-builts out there, but are they as all-white as you want them to be? Is the case the case you would have chosen if you had the choice? Or what if you want a PC for content creation and you need 10 terabytes of storage to hold your massive library of video content? Will you be able to find a pre-built PC that offers that much storage out of the box? And even if you do, will it meet all of your other hardware demands at the price you have to spend? Maybe you are looking for a system that will allow you to easily upgrade your processor and graphics card in the near future. So you're willing to sacrifice on your CPU and GPU performance now because you know that a year from now, you're going to have enough saved up to be able to afford a high-end CPU and GPU combination. So for right now, you wanna focus on getting a higher-end power supply, a motherboard that has a better power design, and a case that offers plenty of room inside of it, all so that you can easily add in your new CPU and GPU when you're ready. Can you find something that will suit your needs with a pre-built system? Maybe, but it is going to be more difficult to do than if you just chose your own components. Furthermore, there's also the point of quality control where a lot of pre-built PCs out there can skimp on important components. For example, a lot of pre-built PCs come with lower tier power supplies. The idea is that most users who aren't familiar with PC hardware will purchase a PC based off of its core components, namely its CPU, GPU, and memory. So pre-built companies can increase their margins by skimping on the power supply. Most pre-built systems don't list what kind of motherboard they use either. Are they using a motherboard that offers a good enough power design to properly support the CPU in the system? You typically won't find that information in the PC's listing, so you won't really know until you get the system. But again, these companies are relying on the fact that you won't ever bother to check what kind of power supply or motherboard they're using. They're going to sell you on those core specs. And while I do believe that most of the reputable pre-built companies are at least choosing acceptable power supplies and motherboards, because they would probably have a lot of returns on their hands, they were using super low end components. But either way, you can avoid this situation altogether by just building your own PC. When you build your own computer, you're in full control to build the exact system that meets your own personal needs for the amount you have to spend. Of course, there is also the option of buying a custom built PC from someone like Origin or Main Gear, but you're going to pay even more money for the same levels of performance if you go that route. Which brings us to the next reason why you should build your own PC and it's the one that really is the main reason why people end up choosing to build their own systems. Price to performance is the factor that will sell most people on the prospect of building their own system. And why not? Who wouldn't want more performance for the same amount of money? Pre-built companies and custom PC builders have to make a profit on their systems. They have to purchase the same components as you, then they have to pay someone to assemble the system, and then they have to mark up their systems to actually make some money. And even though pre-built companies get better deals on components than you do, the cost of labor to assemble the system and the markup price necessary to generate a profit means that pre-built systems will almost always cost more than if you were to build the same spec system yourself. It should also be noted though, that this isn't always true. During the pandemic and the global GPU shortage, the cost of graphics cards skyrocketed. However, pre-built companies were still able to get their graphics cards at lower prices. Perhaps they had contracts in place that guaranteed a certain number of graphics cards at a certain price, or maybe they had a bunch of graphics cards already in stock. <laughs> in any case, what ended up happening was that it actually became cheaper to buy a pre-built than build your own PC with the same specs. That was the exception though, and pretty much every other scenario at any other point in time, it has always been cheaper to build your own system. If you wanna see a performance comparison between similarly priced builds and pre-builds, we have two videos comparing a $500 build to a $500 pre-built system and a $1,000 build to a $1,000 pre-built system that would be worth watching. Both these videos show significant performance advantages for the build. 
So getting more performance for your money is the first and most obvious reason why you should build your own PC. But even if building your own PC will offer you better performance for your budget, there are still many who will choose the convenience of a pre-built system solely because they believe that building your own system is hard to do and not worth the hassle. That brings us to the third reason why you should build your own PC. It's not that hard to do. Now, building your own PC can be difficult depending on how far you want to go with it, especially if you want to build an extreme system that has a custom liquid cooling setup or you want to add any levels of modifications to it. But you probably shouldn't be taking on that kind of a build for your first system regardless. The standard PC build today is very straightforward. In fact, even as a beginner, you can probably put together your PC in under an hour. This is how simple the process is. You prepare your case by taking off its side panels, then you install the IO shield, and if they aren't already in place, you install your motherboard standoffs. Then you install your power supply into your case. After that, you get out your motherboard and install your CPU, CPU cooler, memory, and NVMe SSD onto it. You then put the motherboard into your case and screw it into place. Then you plug everything in, your CPU power, the 24 pin motherboard power connection, USB connections, the front panel connectors, and any fans or RGB connections that are necessary. Then you install your graphics card and connect power to it. Your PC is now assembled. After that, you power on your build and go through the steps to set up and install Windows. From there, you run Windows updates and install all necessary drivers and all the games you want to play. This is a pretty quick rundown of the building process and not every build will go this way, but this is the most common PC building experience right now. It's really not that hard to do. Even choosing your own components is a fairly simple task. With PC Part Picker, the very active PC building community, and a million part list recommendations on YouTube, social media, and PC hardware websites and forums, picking a compatible set of parts is easier now than it has ever been. I've also put together a beginner series on choosing components if you wanna understand how to pick parts that are compatible with each other, but you can also just go the easy route and take someone else's part list. But the bottom line is while a lot of people will forego building their own PC because they believe that it is too difficult to do, the reality is that it isn't that hard. And not only is it not hard, but it's also very rewarding. One of the common things you'll hear about building your own PC is that it is like building a Lego set. And on the service level, that is true. Many people will see this comparison to building a Lego set and think something along the lines of, Okay, so there's a step-by-step -step assembly process, and if I follow it, I will end up with a working PC or something along those lines. But really, it goes deeper than that. And here's what I mean. Take a look at this Lego set. This is Lego's replica of the DeLorean from the Back to the Future movie series. It costs about $160. Then look at this replica toy of the DeLorean. It costs about $20. If we look at these two products, the $20 toy looks more realistic than the Lego DeLorean. Even though LEGO does an incredible job making their products look good, due to the nature of a LEGO block, they can only do so much to make it look like the real thing. So the LEGO set doesn't look as realistic and it costs eight times more than the toy, but we all know which one of these products is better. The question is, why would we, or anyone, choose the LEGO DeLorean over the more realistic looking toy? One answer is that the LEGO set offers something that the toy does not. It offers the building experience. You start with a bunch of pieces and you are responsible for turning it into something awesome. And I think that is the real meaning behind comparing building a PC to building a Lego set. But I think it's fair to say that building your own PC is far more rewarding than building a Lego set because the assembly process is just part of the fun. Finding and shopping for the components that perfectly match your individual needs and budget, seeing all of your parts being delivered, unboxing everything, and then once you've built your system, turning it on and actually using it are all highly satisfying experiences. The entire process of building your own computer from start to finish is incredibly rewarding. And this is probably my best pitch to you on why you should build your own computer. But of course, there's also the awesome community that comes along with building your own system. PC building is contagious. Once you've done it for the first time, you're going to want to do it again. And you're going to want to tell people about it and convince others to build their own PCs as well. Maybe your friend is looking to get a new gaming PC and they're thinking about going to Best Buy to look at the available pre-built options. Nope, not on your watch. You can't stand idly by while your friend is about to rob themselves of one of the most enjoyable experiences in life. One that would take away from them higher frame rates, 
better quality control and customization, the satisfaction that comes from pushing the power button and turning on their system for the first time, and most importantly of all, the inclusion into one of the biggest and greatest internet communities in history. The PC building community is one of the main ways that people get introduced to building their own PC in the first place. Most people decide to build their own PC because A, they had a friend or family member who built their own system and they saw the returns on that, or B, their current PC isn't up to par, it can't run the games and applications they wanna run, and so they need a new one, and in researching which PC they should get, they stumble across a bunch of glorious nerds arguing over every minute difference between every possible component, all in an effort to determine what the most optimized PC possible is for a given use case at a given price. The PC building community has it all, resources and tools, memes, heated debate, support, criticism, celebrities, controversies, you name it and the PC community has it. Once you stumble upon this community, you cannot not want to join in and build your own computer. You may not build your system today, you may not build it tomorrow or the month after, you may not even build it a year from now. But once the seed is planted in your head, and that's what I'm trying to do to you in this video, you will eventually join us and build your own PC. Have I convinced you yet? If you've already built your own PC, I need your help sharing this video. The more people we can get to see it, the more people we can save from buying a pre-built system, and the more people we can gift the experience of building their own system. Share it on social media, post it on forums, send it to your friends. Let's get everyone building their own PCs. And if you think I missed anything in this video, or if you wanna share what your experience of building your own PC was like to try and convince others to do the same, please post in the comments below. In any case, that does it for this video. If you have any questions on the build process or on choosing components, or you want advice on your part list, head down to the comment section and post your questions.